So with the heat wave set to continue, the beaches, the pools, they are all going to be busy places all weekend long. Yeah, it's already been a difficult week on the water in Rhode Island. Emergency crews across the state responding to a number of water rescues and drownings. And 12 News reporter Kayla Fish is live now with the very latest for us. Kayla? Well, guys, over the last several days, first responders from Westerly to North Smithfield, really all corners of the state, have been called to a number of water related incidents, including at least two that have turned deadly. Last night, 12 News confirmed that a nine year old boy who was pulled from the water at Easton's Beach in Newport has died. The family of Kevin Aruda tells us the young boy got caught in a rip current Monday afternoon. In North Smithfield, first responders say 18 year old Evando Frederic of Woonsocket drowned after jumping into the Slatersville Reservoir with friends. Over in Westerly, police tell us an adult man is currently on life support after nearly drowning at Musquamacut Beach. Another man was seriously injured at that same beach after breaking his neck while swimming, according to police. When it's very hot, people will uh, be by the pool um, or at the beach and certainly any activities related to that, we will see uh, an increase in the injuries related to those. And unfortunately, drowning is not like in the movies where it's, you know, lots of splashing and really loud. It can happen very quickly and very silently. And in the meantime, over in Warwick, two swimmers were pulled from the water at Connecticut Point Beach earlier this week. No word on their condition this morning, but we are hearing from first responders in Warwick and their message to swimmers this summer. You'll hear that coming up in the next half hour. For now, live in Providence, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News. 633, a difficult and at times tragic week on the water in Rhode Island. Yeah, 12 News has learned that a nine year old boy has died. This after he was pulled out of the water in Newport a few days ago. The family of Kevin Aruda says that he got caught in a rip current at Easton's Beach and was then rushed to Hasbro Children's Hospital. He was just pronounced dead yesterday. It's one of several water related incidents across the state this week. Kayla Fish live this morning with a message from first responders. Well, 12 News spoke with a local doctor earlier this week who said that when the temperatures rise, unfortunately, so do the number of water related injuries and drownings. It's something emergency crews really in all corners of the state have seen firsthand throughout this past week. In Westerly this morning, police tell us two men are hospitalized after incidents at Musquamac at State Beach earlier this week. One man nearly drowned. Another broke his neck while swimming. Meantime, first responders in North Smithfield say an 18 year old from Woonsocket drowned Wednesday after jumping into the Slatersville Reservoir with friends. A day earlier, two swimmers were pulled from the water at Kinimicut Point in Warwick. 12 News spoke with lifeguards and first responders there about water safety as we continue to deal with this heat wave. Here's what they had to say. Dangers are out in the bay, dangers are in a pool. Stay within the areas marked for lifeguards. That's the most important thing. Swim with as a lifeguard and, and, in, uh, and in safe areas and safe conditions. Don't overestimate your ability and don't underestimate the danger out there. Now, the family of the nine year old boy who died after being pulled from the water in Newport has set up a GoFundMe page to help offset medical and funeral expenses. You can find a link to that on our website, WPRI.com. Live in Providence this morning, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.